won't you come and stay with me? Let's have a little art to heart. Hey, this is Thump, and this is Art to Heart, the show where I talk to creatives about their passions. And on today's show, I'm talking with Angel Onofre. What up? Hi, how's it going? Thanks for being on the show. Thanks for having me on the show. So, uh, for those not in the know, who are you and what do you do? Uh, my name's Angel and I draw creepy, cute things and I try to sell them to people sometimes. Sweet. I notice you use a lot of watercolor in your art. I do. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about that process? Like, what kind of brushes do you use or paints? Uh, as far as brushes goes, I usually get the cheapest thing I can find. I'm, I usually mess up the brushes anyway, so I don't. I just want to save money on that. Yeah. Uh, as far as the paint goes, I usually use Windsor Newtons. Uh, uh -huh. But yeah, it's really just like I just do it as much as possible and try to figure out how it works. And... Cool. Trial, <laughs> trial and error. Trial and error. Um, do you have any pro tips for anyone who wants to start using watercolor? Um, just start doing it, honestly. Like, just do it as much as possible because that's how the only way you're going to get better at things. So. Yeah, nice. Let's talk about Max's super rad possession. Let's talk about that. What is that? Uh, it's a coloring book that I made, a uh, coloring activity book. That's, um, here it is. Whoa, it just magically it appeared. Just, it just came out of the air. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, basically my take on uh, coloring books and like adult coloring books were getting really popular and they were all yeah. kind of pretty and relaxing. And I decided to make something a little gory where you like gouge your sister's eyes out. Whoa, nice. Um, stuff like that. It's a story about a little boy gets possessed and murders his family, but it's sold through activities and coloring. Oh, cool. So, so fun for the whole family. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what was the genesis behind the project? Like, where did the idea of a kid being possessed come from? Um, I just, like, coloring books are always, like, super happy and, like, you lead the little kid through the maze. So I was just like, what is the most messed up thing I could do with this little kid? Uh, yeah. just kind of, that's where it kind of spawned from. So it looks like you have a huge fan appreciation for the horror genre. I do, yeah. Uh, what were some of your early influences in horror? Um, I mean, I used to just love staying up, like, yeah. watching scary movies with my sisters. We just like rent stuff like from the store, and, like yeah. random stuff. So I've seen a ton of stuff, but the biggest influence is probably like, you know, the big ones, Nightmare on Elm Street, yeah. Halloween, Friday the 13th. I actually just stayed up till three in the morning yesterday watching Nightmare on Elm Street. So. Oh, wow. That, yeah. I feel like that would give you a lot of uh, fun, happy times. Yeah, mostly fun, happy times. Um, besides movies, uh, what kind of comics and books influenced by the horror genre do you like? Um, well, I think the, the very first comic that turned me onto comics was Johnny the Homicide Maniac and yeah. Squee and basically anything Jonah Vasquez has done. Um, yeah, like Invader Zim. Yeah, I love Invader Zim. But cool. yeah, it kind of opened my eyes to like comic books aren't just, they don't just have to be superhero based. Like it could yeah, be other totally. weird stuff, which is, you know, kind of my thing. So that, that really kind of changed my world there. Sweet. Uh, your style translates well to animation, I think. Thanks. Um, is there anything of yours that you would like to see animated? Uh, I don't think there's one particular thing. I mean, yeah. I would love to do it, like a series of shorts or just a bunch of different like ideas that I have. Maybe even a max. But like, yeah, I think. Uh, uh, I, yeah. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the voice from beyond. Yeah, that's uh, that's terrifying. <laughs> Quit hitting yourself. Quit hitting yourself. This is a long uh, announcement. Yeah. You think anyone's listening? Oh, no. No. No one, no one cares, right? No, I don't, I don't even think he's listening. He's probably just reading off the paper. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. This is the longest announcement yeah. ever. No one cares. 
Look, just come here and buy Angel stuff. I think he's wrapping it up. There you go. Typically, I have a recurring segment where I don't know how to end my show. Okay. But since we talked so much about horror and scary things, I thought it'd be fun if I run down a list of stuff and you tell me which one's scarier. Okay. Sound cool? That sounds good. All right. So, Freddy versus Jason. Scarier? Yeah, who's scarier? Uh, Freddy, because, you know, you can't really run from him. Okay. Um, Michael Myers or Chucky? As a kid, I would have said Chucky, but uh, as an adult, I would say Mike Myers. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Uh, Bert versus Ernie. Um, Bert's more of a jerk. Yeah, you know yeah. why? Why? It's that unibrow, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's kind of... Kind of shady, yeah, right? Yeah, I would yeah. not trust that dude. Don't trust the dude with one brow. <laughs> you don't have any, do you? No. All right. I don't. Thanks for that. <laughs> Hearts don't have hair, dude. Yeah, I could. It's a little creepy, but yeah. that's you. And do you I imagine a it. heart with like hair on it? That's something you should draw. You How should creepy like, with that? Have you thought about starting like a hair metal band? Oh, maybe. Yeah. That'd be cool. I need a uh, Vorix or wait, what's that hair thing? Rogaine. Rogaine, yeah. Baldrix. Baldrix. <laughs> That's uh, not Saint anything. Saint Baldrix, yeah. I think, is yeah. what you're Patron of. saint of a little different. people. Yeah. Right. Um, okay, so Bert is definitely scarier. Yes, definitely. All right, what about Friday the 13th or Grand Rapids Comic Con? Ah, uh, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, I'm a little terrified at Grand Rapids. Uh, the hotel we stayed at was a little little questionable. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I'm going to say Grand Rapids. Well, I'm sure it didn't help that you're watching Friday the 13th. You probably didn't, no. Yeah. Cool. All right, well, son of a bee! There's a kid's costume parade for 12 and under Oh, my wow. lord. Yeah. Some good timing, though. <laughs> yeah. I always tell myself never to do interviews at a Comic Con. Uh -huh. Here's why. I need your social security number and your date of birth. Yeah, I, I kind of wish you called in ahead and uh, you know made time for this, but I'm a little disappointed. I'm sorry. But it's okay. It's okay. It's not your fault. Okay, are you sure about that? <laughs> All, All right, right let's wrap this up. Where can people find you online? Uh, I've got all my name on every handle, so you can go to angelnofray.com. My Instagram is just angelnofray, and you find anything I do from my website, so. Cool, cool. Thanks. Cool. So, thanks, uh, thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me. And uh, sorry about the voice from beyond. It's fine. It I had no sometimes. control over it, okay? I believe you. Yeah. Cool. See ya. See ya. Oh, won't you come and stay with me? Let's have a little art to heart. Hey, this is Thump, and welcome to Art to Heart, the show where I talk to creatives about their passions. And there's just in the back. You dummy, get out of the shot. Um, I noticed that when you use watercolor, wait. Nope. Rewind. Okay. You have a huge... And? Uh, Wait. Hang okay. on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Edit. It sounds like you have... Where are you, you going with this? Though? I don't know. <laughs> Speaking of Godzilla... Uh-huh. Did you like that movie? It was okay. Like the new one? Yeah. Or the old one? Oh, the old ones. I love the old ones. Yeah. The, the new one was questionable. <laughs> Yeah, totally. I like All Brian right. Cranston for the five minutes that he was in. There. Yeah, right? Yeah. Walter White, Breaking Zilla. Yeah. Um, 